Good morning, good afternoon, hello wherever you are, hello everyone. Um, it's Friday morning here in the UK and um, last night we did an introduction to mediumship where we had over 20 um, spiritual lights who had come together to talk about and discuss mediumship. And it was a beautiful evening, there was some lovely evidence, there was a great connection, um, there was fun, there was laughter, there was spirit, there was everything they should have been in, in a coming together of people who are heart-centered, heart-based. And when I woke up this morning, as I always do, window open, birds singing, thank the divine for giving me the opportunity to um, lead my path with courage and purpose. And I always then have five minutes with, with Ronnie. And it was like, um, It was like as if we were both really excited about what happened last night. We've done lots of workshops and they've been amazing and there's all those things, but it was just nice to see so many people um, really opening themselves to a different way of thinking about spirituality and spiritualism, a different way of thinking about mediumship. And I thought to myself, you know, why don't we do a very quick video this morning of talking about how we can delve deeper into the realm of mediumship. And you know, for me, having so many people on Udemy, 51,000 students, having nearly 8,000 students in here, the presence and the numbers speaks volumes about the curiosity and courage to explore something profoundly personal and unique. So for me, it's about um, being you, being open, being blessed, being all these things. But it's not about conjuring or wielding, you know, supernatural powers it's it's not about any of those things it's not about do i have the gift i've been told i have the gift we discussed this before everyone has the gift your heart is beating but it's about embracing a spiritually infused state of being shifting our conscious towards the essence of who we truly are a mediumship for me as we discussed at great length last night is the art of quieting the noise of our daily human existence, about embracing an altered, spiritually intentional state of consciousness. It's about moving away from the material world, opening our minds and our eyes to a profound and transformative journey that blends our energy with the infinite, what I call, omnipresent spirit. So, talked about in my blog this week, talk all the time trust and surrender are the cornerstone of this journey and I was thinking this morning about how can I best describe that but if you imagine walking into a pitch dark room all right picture that now walking into a pitch dark room your senses heighten your heart based heart beat races everything about it is like what's going on in here but when you trust and when you surrender to the unknown then all of a sudden a calm steps in if you know you're safe in the room and you know it's it's a space where you want to be and it doesn't really matter whether it's dark it doesn't matter if we can't see anything because you can trust you can surrender to the unknown that calm seeps in so when you begin to adjust to perceive the environment differently i.e spirituality and spiritualism you allow your instincts to guide you similarly in the practice of mediumship we surrender ourselves to the unseen energy trust the process completely there was a famous spiritual teacher called Ram Das, who once said, the quieter you become, the more you can hear. And this for me holds true in our exploration of mediumship. As we become quiet, as we learn to trust and surrender, we open ourselves to a much deeper connection, a divine conversation with spirit. So releasing expectations is equally as important. Expectation for me can act like a filter, a lens through which we perceive our experiences, thereby altering their essence. So it's in this practice, you know, it's crucial to let go of any expectations or ambitious. And that's going to enable to you encounter the spiritual realm as it is, not as how we imagine it to be. And it's this state of being rather than doing or achieving opens up an unobstructed pathway to harmonious blending with spirit. So the journey of mediumship is not a linear one. It's a winding road filled with discoveries, filled with insights, filled with profound realizations about yourself and the universe around you. But like every journey, it needs patience, it needs persistence, it needs practice. So remember to be kind to yourself. Every person's experience is different. 
individual mediumistic experiences, IMEs, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just trust yourself, surrender to the process, let go of expectations, simply blend with spirit. And that's the key to this. It's about being. It's a journey to discovery. It's a new dimension of existence. It's a realm where the physical and spiritual worlds coexist and converse. A world that is waiting to welcome you with open arms. And remember the enlightening quote to the quieter you become, the more you can hear. Be quiet, listen, trust, surrender, and just be. And your journey into mediumship, if it hasn't already started, starts now. Your new journey into mediumship may start now because you have all of these convoluted ideas. Mediumship is a journey into the quiet spaces of the soul where we trust and that's where our compass is. Surrender to your path and listen to the gentle whisper of your guides. It's not about seeking, but rather allowing. It's not about ex expecting, but simply being. And I hope that makes sense to you and I hope that you know can help you to think about you know where you are today and how you're doing these things so the quote from me really is this mediumship is a journey into the quiet spaces of the soul where trust is our compass surrender is our path and the gentle whisper of spirit is our guide it's not about seeking but rather allowing it's not about expecting but simply being and I hope that makes sense for you so what we're going to do now very quickly we're just going to close our eyes. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. We let it go. Take another nice deep breath in. We're going to hold it, let it go. We're going to take another nice deep breath in. And this time we're going to just bring our awareness to our front of us. We're going to create this beautiful space in front of us. And we're just going to set the intention of spirit coming, joining us. When we're in this space and everything settles, we're going to ask Spirit to give us a word for today, a word that can inspire us, a word that can help us to walk our path. My word was kindness. So today I'm going to be kind. Today I'm going to show kindness to myself and kindness to all others. I had it as a message last night. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It felt inspired to do it. And don't forget, there's lots of ways that I can help. Um, I have uh, level one, level two, level three of accreditation. I have a beautiful course that's going to be taking place, a half-day online course. First time I've ever done a half-day half course. There's lots of my courses online. There's many ways um, that you can join me on this wonderful journey. And also, I've just released... Um, some uh, monthly readings for, for the month of May going into June. So if you want a spiritual reading, then please join us. But you know the key here for me was just getting up this morning and sharing that message, sharing that, that, that understanding of, of simply being, listening to the gentle whisper of, of spirit as our guide. God bless you. Be love and give love. And thanks very much for everything you do, your love and support. And I'll see you. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing. And don't forget, if you want to join me on any of the things below, you can do. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.